Hello my friends, this is Jeannie. I am here to select the winners of the Strength, Hope and Faith card challenge that I uh, hosted. I put out a call for handmade cards um, to present to my aunt who is currently battling a recurrence of throat cancer. I asked for cards with positive messages, messages of strength, hope and faith cards that she can read um, on days when she's not feeling particularly strong or is just having a tough, tough day um, with her treatment. I received some beautiful, amazing entries. I received a total, I received so many cards, uh, really more than I expected. Um, I received cards from 13 wonderful, wonderful women here on YouTube. And let's see if I can get it. Um, this is the box. Uh, let's see if I can do this. This is the box. <laughs> let me let me try closing this. Mm -hmm. This is the box that um, I selected to house the cards. And I will open and show you what the inside looks like. And these are the amazing entries that I received. And what I will do is I plan on decorating this box uh, a little more before I give it to her. Um, I just want to personalize it a little more and add some um, mes messages of strength, hope, and faith uh, on the outside of the box and maybe put her name on it. And I'm thinking of putting, of adding like an image of an angel uh, with a cross. So I will definitely work on that. And I will be seeing her. I saw her this weekend, but I will be seeing her again next weekend. And when I see her next time, I will present the, the box to her. She's totally not expecting it. She's totally unaware of, of um, the collection. So I know she's going to be floored. And, you know, uh, I just can't wait. I can't wait to give it to her because I know that these cars are going to go a long, 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 long way to, to cheering her up. So thank you so much for all of these beautiful entries. Wow. I know that many, many of those who sent me uh, cards said that I did not have to enter them into the drawing for whatever reason. And I hope <laughs> those people don't mind that, in fact, I did enter you into the drawing because truly this is my way of saying thank you um, for taking the time to make these beautiful cards. It means the world to me. It means the world to my family. And I know that it will mean, to world, mean the world to her. Now, that being said, um, I realize that uh, not everyone has a cricket or an embossing machine so what I did was I modified the prizes okay I went out and bought um, uh, a couple of extra items and I will show you what these items are to here today so um, you still have the original prizes first place is the um, frozen Cricut cartridge okay however if you don't have a Cricut machine okay and you are selected as the winner just um, send me a PM let me know you don't have the Cricut machine okay and I won't send that cartridge I'll put that cartridge to the side and save it for a future giveaway but you will receive a prize nonetheless because and give me a second here because I bought some of the gorgeous girls mini stamps and I will be sending that to you so first place or well, all three winners will receive okay these gorgeous girl stamps okay and not all the stamps are the same I just selected a variety of stamps but each winner will receive two of these stamps and a six by six uh, paintable watercolor paper pad 
by, um, and I believe this is Prima. Okay, so first place, you will receive the Cricut cartridge. If you have a Cricut, if you don't, just let me know. I won't bother sending that. And you will receive, oops, this. Okay, second place winner, you will receive, um, if I can find some place to put this down, you will receive, um, in addition to the cuddle bug embossing folder set okay you will receive two stamps as well and you will also receive the six by six um, watercolor paper pad by Prima now if you don't have an embossing machine again second place winner just let me know and I won't send that prize to you um, I'll keep the embossing uh, folder and save it for a future giveaway okay and then the third place winner um, again you will get the embossing folder if you have an embossing machine if you don't have an embossing machine let me know and I won't send it to you and you will also receive two of the gorgeous girl mini stamps and the six by six paper pad okay so um i feel better now that i modified the prizes because i think it's it's a little more inclusive of everyone who participated in the challenge and um appeals you know it's a lot more useful to to those who don't have a cricket or who don't have an embossing machine so let's go ahead and select the winners so like i said i received entries from or i received cards from 13 uh beautiful souls here on youtube and um after um i took into account the number of cards sent and video responses those 13 um uh, total of uh, 42 entries okay and here is the list okay now in the interest of full disclosure uh, many of you here know Monique who is crafting in the woods here on YouTube Monique um, is an awesome 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 lady and she was one of the first to put out a call to all of her subbies you know, asking them to participate in my challenge uh, and to make these cards. Okay, so, um, and she also made, in addition to putting out that video response, she also made a card. Now, before Monique could mail her card to me, um, she suffered an, uh, just a sad and, and unfortunate loss in her family. Um, she suffered a death in the family and um, Monique um, had to you know put everything aside and take care of her family um, so I think everyone here will agree with me that um, um, the fair thing to do and the right thing to do is keep Monique um, in the uh, in the in the entries I have no intentions of removing her name I have no intention of excluding her from the drawing. Monique is a beautiful soul who participated um, and is absolutely, absolutely going to be included in this drawing. And if anyone takes issue with that, I'm sorry, but it's my decision to make. And it's one that um, um, I have made and I feel that I have made the correct decision in keeping Monique's name in the drawing. So um, she's in it to win it <laughs> like everyone else. So that being said, let's go ahead and select our winners. So like I said, we had a total of 42. Okay, so let's go ahead and one through 42. Let's click generate. So the first place winner is number 26. 
And number 26 is Karen Herrera. Okay, so Karen, I am going to go ahead and put a number one next to your name. And just um, send me a PM if you will, Karen, just letting me know. Um, I have everyone's address, so you don't need to send me addresses. But Karen, just send me um, a PM letting me know whether or not you have a cricket. Uh, if you don't have the Cricut, I'm not going to send the Cricut cartridge, but I will send everything else. Okay, so let's select another winner. Okay, so 1 through 42. Generate. Number 35. So number 35 is Raquel R. So... I'm going to go ahead and put a number two next to your name, Raquel. And if you will, Raquel, just kindly send me a PM letting me know whether or not you have an embossing machine. If you don't have an embossing machine, I won't um, bother sending the embossing folder, but I will go ahead and send um, the stamps and the 6x6 six six paper pad. And now our third place winner is... 1 through 42, generate number 3. So number 3 is Art of Life by Sheila. So I'm going to go ahead and put a number 3 by your name, Sheila. And again, Sheila, contact me, send me a PM, and just let me know whether or not you have an embossing machine. If you don't have an embossing machine, I won't bother sending the embossing folder, but I will send the stamps and the 6x6 six six paper pad. Now, what I also have decided to do, I recently started making charms and stick pins. And um, my way of thanking everyone who participated in this call for handmade cards. Um, uh, what I decided to do is make every single person who participated in this challenge a small charm or pin. I haven't decided if it's a charm or a pin yet. I know exactly what it is. It is going to be a small angel charm or a pin because truly you are an angel in taking the time to send prayers, well wishes, and handmade cards. And it touched me in a very deep, deep way. And it just filled my heart with such just love and joy. And I know it's going to do the same for my aunt. So my way of saying thank you to everyone who participated in this challenge is um, that I'm going to go ahead and make those charms. My goal is to get them done this week so that I can mail out all of the packages on Saturday. Okay, so again, for everyone who participated, thank you so, so much. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.